Okay, Chris, have a look at the words. Okay, so my forbidden words is put. Ooh, that, food, again, and time. Here we go. David speaking. Hi, David. I don't have uh, enough length to explain, but if you were to eat something and, like, you have to peel it, what would this be called? What, like a peel? No. What? Uh, like you peel and then you eat. You, you peel it and it's like, it's yellow. What is that? I have no idea. To ingest it. It's got potassium in it and it's very good for you. <laughs> Please. Banana? Yes! Oh. Thank you, David. Ding, ding, oh. ding. That is so Ooh. annoying. You are going to get greased up and you're going to have to strut your stuff in there, my friend. Oh, so i got to go topless, right? Topless With all the way. canola oil on my, my chiseled... It's going to be a sad day in Roma Street, my, my friend. My chiseled non-existent abs. <laughs> um, okay, well, that's great. You're listening to Chris and Craig. You can on check B105. the photos out on the Facebook page, Chris and Craig Show. Thanks. Thanks. Chris and Craig on B105. We were lucky enough to chill with this guy on Friday morning. Everybody this, nothing won't stop this, cause we don't own this club tonight. That's right, Marvin Priest wanted to hang out with Chris and Craig. He was a lucky Our man. Very own cute little celebrity that we just got to carry around with us. I want to put him in my pocket, a little <laughs> pocket rocket. All right, well, he, yeah, he had to move a few things and schedule a few things, and uh, we jumped at the chance. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of how it went down. It was a Friday. What do you think of the Chris and Craig show? Um, it's a great show. I've never actually really heard it, but I'm looking forward to hearing it. No, that was a test. That was a test. <laughs> because it's, it's actually, you're, you're, I hope you realise right now you're setting world world standard and a world record history in the making you're doing that right now how do you feel i feel great am i am i the first person you guys have interviewed oh my gosh can you believe it marvin priest cnc the first to get interviewed let's go what an introduction but uh we've met before i don't know if you remember um maddie and maud hot 30 at a hotel on the roof the rooftop hotel we met. I've actually got something to say to you. I remember. Yes, I do remember you. Yeah. You sat down next to me. Yeah, I had yeah. a few beers, though. Yes, you did. I, oh, my God. I can't believe I've met you now. I thought you was like a crazy fan. But yeah. Yeah. You're actually a sick dude. Yeah, I actually remember. That was a great party, man. I love it. It was. Well, I, there's something I want to bring up, uh, bring up with you. I went to the bathroom, right? And uh, this was before you actually performed, because you performed live there on the Hot 30. Yes. I, I get stage fright yes. when I go up to the urinal. Right. I went up to the <laughs> urinal, and, uh, and I looked around. There was no one in the bathroom. Right. So I thought, that's cool. When no one's there, I can go to the urinal. Fine. As soon as I'm about to start... Yes. Marvin Priest walks in. Oh, is that what happened? And uh, not only did you walk in, but you walked in and you stood next to me at the urinal and you started and I'm like, shit, I've already been here. Wow. And, and, and I was just nervous and I'm like, it's all good. You've had a few beers. Just I shut my eyes and I'm like, let, let it flow, let it flow. And uh, I know this sounds weird, but I actually, I, I heard your, your urinating tried to get the waters flowing for me. Oh, and then, I know this is sounding weird for a very first interview. And then you started warming up. Oh, and you yeah. started singing, and, and that's fine. You got to warm up your yeah, vocals yeah. before you go on. Yeah. But that just sealed the deal for me. There is no way I could have. So I pretended that I'd finished, and I was like, "Oh, that was a good one!" Wow. And I walked out, and as soon as you left the bathroom, I went straight back in wow. and finished it off. That's really bad that I number one intimidated you by going to the uh, toilet. I'm easily intimidated. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that. And then. And then I, I scared you off with my singing. That's not good. Uh, I couldn't. It stopped. How many ways have you stopped in the past, Marvin? Exactly. Is this the first one or that's what? A, that's, a, that's a very hard thing to do, by the way. If, did you stop like mid flow or something? No, no. I, oh, you didn't even, even start. I didn't even start. Oh, um, oh, Movember. Yes. We got uh, Movember coming up. Now, we wanted to know, are you going to try and grow a bit of a mo? Can you grow a mo? Uh, what's, it... what's, what's that mean? Right? Oh, I'm a... November? Oh, uh, massage. Massage. Yeah. I can't, if you can notice, I could just about grow this little bit on my chin and a few whiskers here. Patch. I can't, yeah, I can't grow anything. Maybe we'll start a, a beard. patch February or yeah, something. Well, yeah. Whiskers, February. whiskers, <laughs> whiskers winter or whiskers, something like that. <laughs> whiskers just, winter. Yeah, something crazy whiskers like that. New thing. We could do <laughs> massive things for charity with whiskers, whiskers winter. Exactly. Say wicked winter. <laughs> what kind of charity is it going to be? Because this is prostate cancer and men's depression. Uh, 
This one, what can, what can we do? Something about freckle r- awareness. <laughs> freckle <dread. laughs> I'm just going to say, freckles are in this year. 2011 no, is the year for freckles. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, you we, guys are hilarious. We need, to, we need to create some sort of awareness. So we'll uh, look. We'll send some emails to you. We'll get uh, some things for you to sign for uh, Wicked Winter Freckle Awareness. <laughs> <laughs> this is never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get it off the ground. Don't be a naysayer. You're listening to Chris and Craig on B105. It's Chris and Craig on B105. Um, Chris, we're doing Movember this year. I mean, oh. I, I do it nearly every year, but this year <laughs> I, I've put it down. I'm going to get people to donate in. Really? Because I'm doing Movember, but I, I couldn't really tell that you were doing Movember. I didn't know that. Early days yet, mate. Early days. <laughs> so, but For yeah. anyone that doesn't know, I uh, I grow a nice, decent little mo because of my excess testosterone. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> Craig, when Craig tries to grow a mo, like, you know, he just grows hair. It just is like normal hair coming out of the top of his lip. It's not like, I'll be honest. It's Dirty not, Sanchez. It's not the bit you can stop now. <laughs> You've had your fun at my, my mustache making abilities. And I, I understand that they're not that good. Uh, but <laughs> I still reckon that I can raise more money than you. That's Ooh, just, is that fact, a challenge? That is a challenge. Putting it out there. I'm sorry Bring that it, it had on. to come out so erupted. Like <laughs> but, um, but no, it's done. We've got a Facebook page, Chris and Craig Show. Um, go there because we're going to put our our um, links to our donations on Movember website and donate to us and let's see. You donate to me. The, well, <laughs> <laughs> but no, please uh, donate to us. It's for a good cause. It's and, for prostate cancer and men's depression. And flood our Facebook page with well wishing notes so that we can uh, fill this place with a loving atmosphere. Yeah, let us know if you didn't like our show uh, today. And also, don't do that. Let us don't know do if that. You did like it. Yeah. But now listen, our boss came in and he said, when you guys wrap up the show, I want you to wrap up right. the show. That is no lie. That's <laughs> what he said. And we were like, boom, the boss wanted us to wrap up the show. We stood up and we said no. no. He said, sit down and do the wrap or you can go. We sat down and said, that's a, that's a great idea, top, Mitch. Top idea. Really Mitch. apologize. So sorry for that. For not, Craig said, hey, I'm friends with Labby. He's a fan of the show. In the end, though, it was no go, and he just settled for a, for a photo. But Kim Kardashian was married. Kim Kardashian was here. She'd be dashing out of her marriage, and I still have half a beer. It's still cold, isn't it? It's freezing. It's still cold, yeah. Craig was in the urinal, and his wee came to a halt. Soon as Marvin Priest stepped in, little shy boy had to bolt. Whoa, 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 this show's in an end, and I bid you good night. Remember, I'm no shy boy. I just get stage fright. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for joining us, guys. Um, and, yeah, please uh, let us know with the feedback. And we'll be back again next Monday. Chris Ooh. and Craig on B105. Woo. B105's Labby Stan.